Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I'm glad you're well from whatever you're watching this channel. Now, the latest revelations are that ICC is knocking on the doors of Kenya. Activist Paul Mwangi, who is the lawyer representing Azimium, has been tasked with the mandate to submit a petition to the Hague-based court so that Japheth Kome can be held responsible for the killings, for the clubbing, and for all the police brutality actions that were subjected on the peaceful demonstrators of the March 2023 uh, protests. So Azimio Laumoja on Kenya lands wrote to the ICC requesting that the pretrial chamber authorize inquiries into Kenya's political situation. Azimio says that it has a strong case against Japheth Kome because Japheth Kome usurped the powers of judiciary, usurped the powers of a prosecutor, and banned the peaceful demonstrations which were enshrined in the constitution and ordered police to beat opposition leaders if they attempted to hold any peaceful demonstrations. In that letter, there are allegations that Japheth Kome ordered police to fire at Traila Molodinga's car. There is also an allegation that Japheth Kome ordered the police to deal with the media person personalities ruthlessly if they attempted to cover the demonstrations and if they attempted to cover the police brutality. So in a letter, Mwangi says, that is Paul Mwangi says, Japheth Kome has abrogated the constitutional rights of members of Azimio Laumoja One Kenya Coalition Party and contravened the constitution of Kenya by usurping powers of the judiciary and pronouncing a ban against any exercise of the rights under Article 37 by members of the coalition party. That is part of the content of that letter that Paul Mwangi has uh, shared. So, in part of the claims, Azimio claimed that on April 3rd, 16.30 hours, a contingent of police of officers approached the motor vehicle in which coalition party Raila Molodinga was being ferried and fired approximately 10 rounds of live ammunition with the clear intention of killing him in the pipeline area of Embakasi South constituency in Nairobi City. I remember that, if I may take you back to that demonstration, it was peaceful and there was no chaos, but then police saw that they didn't want the demonstration to be successful. They always wanted it to be to appear as if it was chaotic. So what they did, they planned a counter-attack on that demonstration. So the police waited for a part whereby the convoy of Raila Morodinga was ahead and the uh, demonstrators were behind that convoy. So they decided to split this convoy into two. Part of the side had the protesters, this other side had Azimi Kenya Alliance, party leader, and journalists. So, first, the police dealt with the journalists so that the journalists could not cover what was going to happen to Raila Molodinga. So, Raila Molodinga's car got seven bullets, seven to eight bullets of live ammunition, but thanks God that the vehicle that Raila Molodinga had boarded had bulletproofs both from the screens, from the windscreens, and the body was full of bulletproof. So the bullets could not penetrate to Raila Molodinga. So that is what Paul Mwangi has narrated in that petition. So the petition is to uh, to involve uh, the pretrial chamber to see whether they can initiate an investigation into those allegations because they say that Japheth Kome is solely responsible for the attacks and the, uh, the attacks on Raila Molodinga. What they are saying again in that letter is that uh, the IG 
set up a special squad of police officers and the general command of the suspect a special squad and this special squad was to deal with protesters to deal with the uh, Azimio one Kenya lands uh, flag bearer so uh, according to Azimio the decision to write the ICC was made since Kenya is a signatory to the Rome statute having signed it on August 11, 1999 and ratified it in March uh, 15, 2005. So, as the Mion Kenya lands are banking on the fact that Kenya is a member state of the High CC. So, it is just uh, prudent that this case is handled uh, by the ICC and this time around, I think the strategy is very, very clear that it is going to be Japheth Kome being targeted and not the president of the Republic of Kenya. Of course, orders come from somewhere. Let me take you to a certain uh, event or a certain happening or occurrence that I saw in DPP's uh, move. Soon after Raila Mulodinga and William Ruto agreed to form that bipartisan committee, DPP went further and dropped all those cases which were for all the Azimio leaders and all the protesters were released. That in itself uh, proved to me that indeed the DPP office was not independent, that there is someone who has been acting uh, behind the scene. So could it be the case of the ISIS, uh, of the IG's office, that IG is not that independent, that there is someone who is acting like you know a, a remote controller, someone who controls the IG to do whatever they want, but then the IG is being left to be It's been left to uh, carry the blame alone. So, ladies and gentlemen, do you think this ICC will solve a problem? Or do you think that with the involvement of ICC in this issue, now Kenyan opposition will be able to, able and free to demonstrate at will? Because that is a shrine in the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. The right to pick it, the right to peacefully demonstrate. If at all you feel aggrieved by a certain issues, uh, matters governance. So, ladies and gentlemen, can you tell us uh, what your thoughts are below the comment section? And also, I'd like to urge you to, to subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed before. And give us a like. You can hit the notification bell so that every time we upload such videos, you will always become the first person to get notified. Ladies and gentlemen, stay safe, stay blessed until we catch up again in our next analysis.